Hello and welcome back everyone to another Jurassic Park 3 review. This figure was requested by a few users, two of them actually, that I could find through the comments. I had to go through and scroll the comments to find the other person, but the two users that requested this figure be reviewed, Jurassic Toys 2000 and another user called the Bull T-Rex. Go check out both their channels if you haven't already, but they wanted me to review another Jurassic Park 3 figure the Jurassic Park 3 Aquaspinosaurus. So this figure is basically the exact same size as the other Spinosaurus standing in the background from the same line. This being, the Aquaspinosaurus being a Wave 2 figure, so that makes them a little bit harder to find nowadays because the Wave 2 line was slightly harder to track down than the original Jurassic Park 3 figures. Something like that. The Wave 2 figures are slightly harder to find or come by and uh, he's in a not extremely different pose, but in a, it's almost the same pose, but slightly different. As you can see, he's like facing the other way for the aqua one. So almost the same pose, but same claws, same sail, same head sculpt almost. So basically almost the same figure, just built different, I guess you could say. Looking kind of cool, looking kind of cool. Um, one thing I will give this Aquaspinosaurus, uh, I do like his paint job. The the white with the maroon and then the teal blue color there, really awesome. I dig the I dig the colors. Even though this isn't accurate to what we saw in the movie, for the Spinosaurus colors anyway, it's still neat, and it was a toy, so keep that into account. Articulation on this guy is what you'd expect from a Hasbro figure. I mean, the legs can kind of move forward and back. Can't really go through 60 because they get hit right there. I mean, who wants to go through 60 with these legs anyway? But So yeah, they can move a little bit. What you'd expect, I mean, you don't need to really be moving the legs too, too much. Uh, and I would say this posability in these hands that move up and down, but the action feature for that was, as you can see right here on his spine, Right here at the front, you press the front spine down and his arms move in a slashing action, almost like the Jurassic Park 3 Raptor figures we've looked at, and Dilophosaurus. And it gives a sound. Pretty uh, weak attack action, I mean, maybe it's just me, I prefer the jaw action on the other Spinosaurus. And another thing to note because of that, this guy's mouth can't close, it's permanently open 24-7. Kind of lame, kind of lame. That, uh, I'm not really crazy for the mouth not being able to close. Would have been so much better if they somehow incorporated this action, pushing that down into his mouth opening and shutting instead of his claws. But, that's just my opinion. I mean, it's whatever. Pretty decent amount of detail. He's got, looks to be some cracks up here in his spine. Pretty sweet. Not on the other side, though. Just right there. JP3 mark. Battery compartment. That's really uh, about it, besides the Hasbro Donald Damage Curse. I mean... <sighs> Maybe it's just me being the old school dress Park fan, but I always loved having the Dino Damage Cap. I know I've said this in every Jurassic Park 3 review so far, but... I was a fan of the cap over the Dino Damage. I mean, this, to me, was just lazy. I mean, these Jurassic Park 3 dinosaurs... I don't know how some of these dinosaurs are even still alive with these huge gashes in their side. As you can also see on the Brachiosaurus and on that Spinosaurus. But it's whatever, it's the Hasbro Dino Damage thing. But you press this big piece right here in, and it gives his other sound, which is the same sounds as the other Spinosaurus from this line. So the Aqua Spinosaurus basically is the exact same figure with a different paint job. It has the same sounds and the same hand claws and everything, and feet. So... <laughs> As you can see, it's almost the same exact figure. Almost. Not really. I know I keep saying that a lot in this video, but whatever. So, yeah. Not really many points for originality on this figure, in my opinion. It's pretty meh. Run-of-the-mill. What you'd expect from a Jurassic Park 3 toy, anyway, if you looked at any of the other figures I've done. And with a name like the Aquaspinosaurus, you may be, uh... Wanted to take this guy in the water and play with him in the water, but he has electronic sounds, so doing so would cause that to break. 
So, with a name like Aquaspinosaurus, you can't really take him in the water. Kind of lame, or strange. I mean, it's kind of like making an electronic Mosasaur figure. Can't even take him in the water. How are you going to make him an electronic Mosasaur figure? Alright, but... <laughs> anyway, what do I give this figure as a rating? This figure gets probably around a 2 for me. As always, if you don't agree, that's fine. You don't have to tear my head off. That's just... Me not really being huge into the Jurassic Park 3 toys, but... If you want to add this Spinosaur in your collection because you don't have him, or... You think he's cool and you'd like to have another Spinosaur along with this guy in your collection, definitely uh, give him a look, because... I don't know. If you do like the Jurassic Park 3 figures, he probably won't disappoint you, but if you're not really a fan, like always, with all the Jurassic Park 3 stuff, the weird poses and stuff the dinosaurs are in, and not being able to close the mouths on some figures, uh, he may let you down, just a little bit. So, I reviewed this figure before on my other channel, JP Toys 97 and during the hiatus when I was gone, I guess you could say, this was one of the figures I got rid of, and when I started doing figure reviews here again on this channel, I had, like I said, two people request this figure again, so strange that people wanted this figure again for whatever, whatever reason you guys wanted to see it, but... I don't mind, because it's from the Jurassic Park 3 line, and I do plan to basically do all the reviews for the first Jurassic Park, The Lost World, and JP3, Chaos Effect, and Jurassic World toys when they come out. Sorry if you're a fan of the Jurassic Park Dinosaurs lines. Personally, I just never really got into those, because they're mostly just all repaints. And for me, personally, uh, instead of getting a repaint, I would just like to go get the original figure. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because basically at the end of the day, it's just a different color. So that really about does it. Not really much else to say about this figure. So thumbs up the video if you like this figure, or thumbs the video down if you don't like this figure. I used to get really sad and depressed when people would thumbs down my videos, but to be completely honest, now I just look at it and I'm like, I don't care. If you like the figure, thumbs it up. If you don't like the figure, thumbs the video down. Simple as that. I mean, yeah. I'll be back extremely soon with more reviews. I think there's going to be some... Jurassic Park Series 1 and Series 2 reviews from the first movie line coming up next. If you like I said if you have a video request, I may do it. Post it in the comments. I can't guarantee I'll get to every video request because uh, I'm going to try to get as many of these reviews and figure reviews out of the way as I can. So when springtime and summertime comes, I can work on my series and hopefully do some Jurassic World reviews for you guys when those figures come out. So keep it locked here on this channel and I will see you guys later. Have a good one.